There is so much more to the vignette tool in Luminar Neo than just adding black or white corners. You can adjust the position, add inner light, adjust the softness, roundness and so much more. So if you want to learn how to get most out of this tool, then we are starting right now. OK, and off we go into Luminar Neo, where we starting in the catalog module. Here we have a two sample files we're going to be using for today's episode. So let's just select one with a quick reminder that if you want to follow me along and do the same steps on your own computer, jump into the description of this video, follow the link there, download the sample files, add them into Luminar Neo and we can start. OK, so back to my image. Well, let's just select one and move it into the editing module. In the editing module, to use the vignette, we need to go into our main editing toolbar, essential section, and the vignette is at the bottom. Now to open any tool in Luminar Neo, click on it and just like miracle, it will open. Now, before we start using it, let's ask our friend Lumibot about the vignette tool. Thank you, Jakub. And hello, everyone. Let's talk about the vignette tool in Luminar Neo, a simple yet powerful way to draw attention to your subject by darkening or brightening the edges of your photo. It's an old school technique, but with a modern twist. You can place the vignette center anywhere in your image, adjust the amount and size, and even fine tune the shape, softness, and inner brightness using the advanced settings. It's great for portraits, mood shots, or simply guiding the viewer's eyes. And remember, if you need help while editing, I'm just a click away at cleverphotographer.com slash Lumibot. Now, over to Jakub to show you exactly how to use it. Well done. Thank you for that, my friend. Okay, so let's make the vignette tool nice and visible, and let's start from the top. Choose subject, we're going to look at that in a moment, and we move straight into the amount slider. Now, this is one which probably most of you know. When we take the slider and bring it towards the right, it will add white vignette. And when we bring it towards the left, it will add black vignette. Then we have the size slider. By taking the size slider down, it will make the vignette bigger. So obviously less of the image will be visible. And when you bring it the other way around, less of the vignette is visible there. So that's the size. By default, it's on 50. And when you want to reset it there, just double click on it. After this, we have the advanced settings. Now we look at the mod in a moment. For now, let's have a look at the roundness. Roundness, easy, right? Well, with the roundness, by default, it's on zero. And when we take the slider and first move it towards the left, it will make it less rounded. Where when we increase it, you will notice that it makes it much more round. Beautiful, right? So if we adjust the size, let's say that we bring it down. Now we have a perfect circle in the middle. So back with the size roundness, when you bring it up or towards the right, it makes it more round. When you bring it the other way around, it makes it less round, right? It makes it follow the shape of the image. So that's the roundness. Then with the feather, well, feather is really simple. You can see the gradient really dark here and then slowly going in the center where there is none of the vignette. When we take the feather and bring it up, it will add more of the feathering. You can see how the grading is much more smoother all the way to the center. And when we bring it down, you will notice that eventually there is almost no feathering at all. It's really defined. Now, when we adjust the roundness again, you can see we do this, that we almost have a perfect circle. So this is the feather, roundness and size. Then we have an inner light, mode and choose subject. And I will show you how to use this on the next example. So let's just open the film strip and actually move to our image here. From here again into our vignette tool, where we take the amount slider, bring it all the way down. We already done that. With the size, we gonna bring it down. Yeah, let's bring it down for now. Then into the roundness where we gonna make it super round and we are gonna remove all the feathering. So now we have this perfect circle. So now we have the inner light. When we increase it, you will see that we adding extra brightness in the center of the vignette. So 
Now we can basically adjust how much of it we adding with the inner light. That will just add even more contrast. Dark part, bright part. After this, we have the choose subject. So when we click on that, now, just like magic, we are able to reposition the center of the vignette. It's almost like a torch, right? We are moving it around. Now, if we would want to adjust it, we could add a touch of ring, something like this. Maybe adjust the size just a little bit, a little bit of extra inner light. And when you move it around, now it really looks like the torch. So we're moving it around. Maybe a bit more feathering. Yeah, let's have a look at it. And now look at it. Magic. So this is the inner light and this is the choose subject. It's really handy, especially when you want to add attention to something that is not in the center, because traditionally the vignette is built around the center of the photo. Now to really use it, well, we have to reset everything. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's reset all the sliders and start from the beginning. So amount slider down, we're going to make quite strong vignette, I think about minus 50, but that's only the start. At this moment, it's building the vignette with the center in the middle. We don't want that. We want the center to be the lady or the subject. So we're going to adjust the subject or the center by clicking on choose subject. And then basically, again, move it around. So we're going to shift it on the subject. Now you can see that the shape of the vignette is oval, but we want it round. Well, for this, into the roundness we go, where we're going to adjust it. Well, let's just make it a little bit stronger so we can see and then adjust down to, yeah, let's say around 60. I think the feathering is good, but of course the strength of the amount is way too strong. So let's bring it back up, probably around minus 62. We can add a touch of inner light if we want to. Again, just adding more contrast, brighter part here, darker part here, more contrast, more depth and more interest. And just like magic, when we look at the before and after or before and after here, you can see how we have manipulated the light and ultimately added more attention towards the most important part of the photo, which is the subject. Now we are done, right? But actually you could ask, but Jacob, you didn't talk about the mode. Well, how does the mode work? Let's make the vignette strong again, something like this. And let's open the mode. So what we have post crop and pre crop. Now for this, let's leave it on post crop and let's crop the image. So into crop AI, we go where we choose, let's say the square. So one on one position it in a way that mm, let's say that yeah, she is on that golden point here. Click on apply or hit enter and apply the crop to the photo. Just like magic, we are done. Now what it does, it basically creates the crop or the vignette. It creates the vignette using the new crop, right? Because when we go into the edits and look at our vignette and open the advanced settings, you can see with the post crop that it adjusts the vignette based on the crop. So we have a nice crop with a nice darker part here as well as here. However, if I would change this from post crop into pre crop, what it would do, it would basically not take the new crop into the consideration and it would apply it to the original image, to the original crop, which in this case makes no sense at all because now we have a darkened behind her head and all this is bright and it just doesn't look good at all. So 99% of the cases, you will keep this on the preset post crop. However, you can adjust it here if you want to, if you maybe uh, crop the image in a certain creative way, then there is the chance and possibility to turn it into the pre crop want to. So let's reset this one more time. Now we can do that by clicking on this car edits, or we can right click on the image and click adjustments and revert to original. That will bring us back here into the tools and final adjustment. How I would do it in reality <laughs> would be amount down. Yeah. Keep an eye on it somewhere around minus 50 shoe subject, position it on her. Then into the advanced setting, post crop stays, roundness up, definitely a little bit of extra uh, feathering, little inner light there. Now looking at it, we can bring it even a little bit higher. So more light on her and that's it. Quick look before and after. This is really important when you're working with vignette because you don't want it too strong, but this looks good to me. And once I'm done with your vignette and once finished with the vignette, 
you can close the tool and continue. So there you have it. This is how you use the vignette tool here in Luminar Neo, but this doesn't have to be the end of your photo editing journey. Continue learning with even more videos on our YouTube channel, Clever Photographer, where a part of many other tutorials, we have a video for every single tool in this application. So continue, keep learning and keep moving forward on your photo editing journey. <music>